Hey everyone and welcome to this tutorial. Today we're going to work on a landscape material that you can paint on, like this. Here I have my uh, one landscape material and you can paint there some textures on. Here is how it works. You go here to landscape and paint and then you just pick one of these textures and you can paint them. I made a landscape instance so you can always change the tiling of the textures. So yeah, let's start. For this tutorial I'm using 4.22.1. Um, for the project I'm going to use a third person project and we want to make sure to have the starter content. I will use the textures from there. In uh, the next tutorial maybe we will use some high quality textures. When your project is loaded let's first manage the level. So I'm going to delete here some walls so we can see the landscape. And yeah, let's actually add the landscape. Click here on landscape and press manage. And here you can set some settings. I will leave it as it is, maybe a little bit bigger here. And then you just click on create and we have this world here. If you want to get rid of these black yeah, lines here, you just need to build. After you have uh, the lightning builded, the lines are gone. And yeah, it can take some time depending on how large your landscape is. The next step would be to create a folder for the landscape. I would just add here a new folder and call it landscape. And inside here, I want to create a new material. I'm gonna call this landscape master. And inside the landscape master, the whole magic will happen. So here, you just need to add the layer blend. Oh, sorry, not layer blend, landscape blend. Landscape layer blend, that's how it's called. And you need to have for each of those one lens layer blend. So if I want to add here a grass, then I have here the grass normal, or let's just say color version, which always needs to be a height blend. And then you just plug it in into the base color. And if you want to have the normal also inside this layers blending, then you need to copy and paste it and also put it in here with the, ex with the exactly same name. Then let's go to the starter content and open the material and let's get this ground grass here. And you see here a lot of things for um, texture variation and other stuff. We'll first just use the base color and go copy and paste it here in. From the RGB we want to have the layer grass color and the alpha inside the and for the normal we do the same. Copy and paste here and put in again whoops, this one and this one. And for the roughness we have the same but this time we can say here constant of 1. And there we go. Let's add this to our landscape. But before we do so, we uh, create a material instant. So we can better change the values of the landscape master um, at runtime. And then we can just put this on the landscape actor when you click on it. Wait it to compile. There we go. We have a black sky reflection thing. Um, to actually, we um, yeah, to have it with the grass, we um, go inside our paint here. Well, on the landscape, go then on paint, and then we need to add layer info, and we want to add a weight blend layer info. You can just put it somewhere here in, s in any folder. Press OK, and then we should have here some grass. There we go. It looks a bit weird, but we were gonna work on this. Before we start working on the variation of the um, texture, let's add another texture. Go to the starter content and let's first you get rid of this paintbrush. It's annoying. Um, click on the model here, a place here, and then let's continue. Inside the material, pick any 
material you want to have. I'm going to use um, the ground gravel. And for this, the same, I'm going to have the base texture copied in here. Like this. We get the layer blend here to the top. And we copy the normal. Now let's put it in here at top. And then we want to add to the layer brand, band, blend sorry, another material. This time stone color and stone normal. Stone normal. And again a blend and here also. Then we put it in. And let's also add the roughness, so let's pull it down here, get this one here, um, add this again. Make sure that the names are correct, always the same. And then let's get here the lerp. Okay, it's half of base color, so we do the same. Let's check, it goes here yeah, on the alpha. Put this inside the alpha of this texture and not inside there but here. And then we can apply and save again. And under landscape and paint, we should not have it at the moment because we need to reload this one. Um, for this, we just click on the landscape and put in the instance again. Should now have the stone color. Oh, okay. Here's a mistake. My, my side here. Stone color. Grass color. Yeah, it needs to be the same name. And I made here a mistake, I guess. Let's see. Stone color. No. Stone and stone normal, also stone, so my bad. Apply and save. And then it had reloaded. Create the weight plant layer here again. Then make the brush a bit smaller and click on the stone and paint some things here. And there we go. We can paint now texture on texture. Next up, let's work on the tiling. So go to landscape, go into your landscape master. And inside here, we want to um, actually have a texture chord. So add the texture coordinate. And this texture coordinate will normally go into UVs and we can split the UVs then or tile with them. But we want to have some scalar parameters. So we multiply this one with an append or not with an append, sorry, exactly with the Scala par parameter. This one will be grass tiling. And we put it in here. That's it, very simple. Put it on one as default. And then we want to copy and paste this into the normal. And we want same for the ground stone here, what it was, ground gravel, and we put here in gravel tiling as parameter. Then go back in here, and this time we don't have to paint, we can just go into the landscape master instance. And now we have here those two parameters. We can say grass tiling, something like 0.3. Ah, looks much better. And for the gravel, let's test 0.5 or 0.4. You can see how it grows. And it looks far better than before. Okay, next up, let's add some variation to the um, grass material when we are far away. 
it looks weird when we're at this distance. So again, we can copy a lot of here from the um, ground grass material. So let's watch in here. So we have um, this micro texture variation, which we want to have in our landscape master too. So um, we put, we, we pull here the grass one a bit above, and then we get in the mac macro texture variation, and we look up how they connected it. So we have here a lerp. So we add also a lerp. Whoops, my bad, the wrong lerp. So let's just copy. This is the math lerp, and this lerp will be added from the alpha of the multiply of the green channel. So we do the same. Green, multiply, and then into the A. Not inside the A, of course, sorry. So for the B, we have the same, but from the RGB. And for the alpha, we put in the micro texture variation. So for those both, we want to have also um, as a little bit of color. So this one will be just the color path through for the um, RGB. So we go here, the RGB. And the yellow spot is the dead grass spot where we can see the variation and set its color. So this one will be a bit yellowish. And then we put in this one into the layer grass color. And as you can see, we have here some colored spot. And let's look at it inside our yeah, texture, our landscape texture. And as you can see, when we go out here, we have a nice variation inside our grass. And if you want to change the color of this one, you can just also go inside the landscape master. Oh, my bad, not inside the landscape master inside the landscape master instance and here we can say we want to change the dead grass color and maybe we want to make it a bit more brownish like this and there you go we change the color i think this is very nice and easy and you can add here a lot of um yeah materials from the starter content and they can look very pretty as you maybe know um, in later versions you were here kept at I think 16 materials. Um, this is due to the DirectX 10. If you want to have more and you don't want to launch your project on mobile or Mac or Linux, you can just go into the project settings and type in or go to all settings and then type in DirectX and you can uncheck the DirectX SM4 so you have SM5 where you are allowed to have over 100 um, layer textures blending over. I will leave as it is and yeah, I think this is quite nice. Um, yeah, as I said before, you can just add every material from here. And I would say in the next video, we we'll work on some substance materials, which looks far better. And I'm gonna show you how you can add them for free. And I guess we could also add some foliage, grass and trees and bushes and other stuff. So yeah, thanks for watching and have a nice day. Bye.